Okay. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Magical Mythical Phoenix. My name is Eddie Phoenix. Today we are doing another episode of Song Theory where we take a song's lyrics and music video to come to a conclusion that it may have a hidden meaning within it. And of course, I wrote it all out. I got the research down, so I hope you guys can join me for the ride. Now, everybody out there is a song theorist. Everybody, you've listened to a song and you thought, oh my gosh, this must mean this or this must mean that. So I know you are already interested in this. So of course, you're gonna keep watching and you're gonna subscribe. <laughs> anyway, guys, I listened to the song. The song is called Freaks of course by Lana Del Rey, and it is a part of her new album, Honeymoon. I thought to myself, whoa, this song is fantastic. It sounds so good. Until, of course, I watched the video again, and I listened to the song uh, and read the lyrics. Uh, now, let's go ahead and get started. Basic oh, God, here we go with another theory of yours. Uh, hello, Mr. Skeptic, the voice of the internet skepticism as a whole. Have you even seen the video yet? Uh, of course I saw it. It's trending on YouTube with 5 million views. Come on, dude. Well, <laughs> is there something strange about the lyrics and video to you? Like, at all? Uh, nope. It looked absolutely fantastic to me. I don't see what the problem is now. What is your problem? Okay, let's begin. So first, let's start with the lyrics. In the song Freaks by Lana Del Rey, her voice is very enticing and hypnotic. With the help of some great reverb and backing tracks, that almost makes you feel kind of loopy. Now make sure to keep that in mind as we continue this theory. Now in the song, her lyrics are as follows. Flames so hot that they turn blue, palms reflecting in your eyes like an endless summer. That's the way I feel for you. If time stood still, I'd take this moment, make it last forever. This is as far as I really need to go in the lyrics to explain my point but I'll use more later. Now, let's move on to the music video. Yeah, yeah, okay, dude, are you done yet? Are you done? Like, is it is it over now? Did you figure it out? Am I, am I done yet? Dude, I just started the video, okay? Can you relax, please? I'm trying to do a video, and you're constantly interrupting me. I am absolutely sick. You're, are you gonna let me finish? Are you gonna let me finish? The internet, right? Always interrupting you. Anyway. The music video caught my eyes in more than one way. For starters, it was 10 minutes long, with 5 minutes and 34 seconds being the official start of the second half. During the video, I finally figured out what was going on and the theory that I had come to. So what? In this theory, Lana Del Rey is some type of demon lizard lady who pulls her prey into a hole or something like that, right? Close. Lana Del Rey in the song is a physical representation of Calypso in the Greek epic of Odysseus known as the Odyssey. In the video, Lana Del Rey does a number of things to this male character that line up perfectly with Calypso. She drugs him several times. In the video, she slips him what appears to be ecstasy, which alters the perceptions of time dramatically. Calypso did the same thing in the Odyssey, except by other means. In the story, she keeps Odysseus and his crew on an island they ended up on for almost seven years without any of them even noticing. The similarities don't end there. Number two, she uses sex to further entice him. Both Lana Del Rey and Calypso use sex on their respective men. Now Lana Del Rey with her group of gals and Calypso also with her posse of nymphs. It gets crazier. Number three, both Odysseus and the man in the video will call him Bill. No, 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 no. Can his name be Daquan? Oh, Daquan? What? I, I don't care. Fine, fine. We'll name him Daquan. It doesn't matter. <laughs> hey, Daquan. <laughs> internet joke, right? On the internet. Back at it again with the white bands. Anyway, both Daquan and Odysseus are married. In the video, Daquan is shown with a wedding ring on his finger. Could he be divorced or separated? Who knows? But he is, by all accounts, married due to the ring being on his ring finger. Odysseus was married to his wife Penelope in the epic. Finally, and the scariest part, I think, is that Lana Del Rey, like Calypso, is a nymph. A, a what? A, a pimp? A pimp. No, 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 Mr. Skeptic, a, a nymph. It's a, a mythological creature that is uh, 
um, in the form of a beautiful woman and she takes shape and form and inhabits different areas like rivers and oceans and forests and stuff. Do you know what I'm talking about? So I, I, I'm confused. How do you know, like for sure, Lana Del Rey is one of those things? In the end of the video, it says it all. The later half of the video is of women playing in the water as classical tracks play in the background. Soon, the addition of many other women, also followed by Lana Del Rey and Daquan. Mr. Skeptic, Lana Del Rey is the physical representation of Calypso, the daughter of Oceanus, the god of the seas. In the video, Lana Del Rey is a sea nymph that uses song just like Calypso to keep her captive at bay. Wait, what? Yes, Odysseus was trapped from ever leaving the island by Calypso. Her singing, in fact, and her enchanting tactics kept him from opening his eyes to the truth. The same goes for Daquan. He is drugged and led away from his wife and by in enchanting and deceptive Lana Del Rey. Her singing and beauty trapped him. At the end of the video, it becomes very grim, kind of morbid in fact. You see Daquan being dragged under the water by Lana Del Rey and her fellow nymphs. And unlike Odysseus, Daquan never woke up from this beautiful, erotic, yet deadly nightmare. <laughs> okay, whatever, whatever, user. Hey, look, like I said before, this is of course a theory. I came up with this, I read the lyrics, I watched the video, this is what I came up with. But you guys at home, please comment at the bottom of this video. Tell me what you think. Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think that's right? Do you have another theory? Please, 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 I wanna know. Guys at the bottom, let me know what you think. Give me a theory of yours. And tell me if there's another theory for another song I can come up with. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys just enjoyed it. I please, please hope you guys just subscribe and, and get into this community. We're doing way more with uh, song theories and music and stuff like that. So I want you guys to join along in uh, this great journey. And of course, like I said, give me some ideas. Please let me know for some videos that you guys want to watch. I want to keep increasing my viewership. You guys want to keep watching awesome videos. And there's no video like that out there. There's no song theory. This is it. So if you guys want your hit of song theory, come here and I'll give it to you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please check the repertoire around this one. Let me know what you think. And I hope you guys have a great day and a better tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you subscribe and check around this video for more. Seriously, guys, I love you so much. Oh, mm -hmm, I love you. Just subscribe to this channel. You'll have so much more. I'll give the gift of creativity to you. I'll give it. Okay, bye-bye.